This video is going to be different than most. Today I'll be talking about a role featured in the mythic odysseys of Theros. It's called piety. It's a mechanic that enhances roleplay for everyone. And for some odd reason, nobody talks about it. Welcome to Pack Tactics, where we optimize roleplay. First of all, Theros is inspired by Greek mythology, and that is why gods play a big role in that setting. It's an official setting, by the way. In general, heroes, or well, adventurers for our purposes, are assumed to basically all fall and act as the champions of those gods, not just clerics. That directly goes into piety. While you don't get any boons just for being a god's champion, you do get blessings by increasing your piety score. This score can be increased or decreased depending on the actions you take in the game. The assumption given is that you get about one point or more each session. You don't get something at every level, only at thresholds, and these thresholds are 3, 10, 25, and like I said before, the big one is at 50. If you somehow fall below one of the thresholds you've reached, you lose its benefits. And each god has their own rewards which are fitted to what they're about. There are also two special cases that are talked about. One where you get the benefits even without following a god, and the other one is where you are an oracle. But Kobold! I don't play Theros! This is useless to me! Well, you can't use the things in this book directly, that's true. But come on, it can't be too hard to borrow some of the information provided here and use it in your game. I play in Storm King's Thunder with my friends, and that is set in the Sword Coast, in the not-so-forgotten realms. And we still use piety there. Let's take a look at how you could use these rules, Gator. Here is the first god on the list. A Threos. All mortals are destined to face a Threos, the river guide, when their lives come to an end. The god of passage ferries the dead across the river, blah 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 blah. Okay, this is not actually that boring, but it would be a bit too much for me to go over all of it. This immediately gives me ideas. Currently we're talking about a Threos, but so far it seems we can take this and use it for another god of death as well. It also has this really cool suggestion area for characters that follow the god. Most worshippers of a Threos believe death is a natural part of life to be neither rushed towards nor run from. They seek to do their part in fulfilling the natural order, easing the passage of the living into death. Most also respect their ancestors and honor them through tradition, ritual, and memory. It even shows reasons why you are following the god. You don't think or feel as others do, finding emotions messy and confusing. Oh my god, Cobalt! I can play an edgelord! That's very true, Gator. Pretty edgy. Finally, what we've all been waiting for, earning and losing piety. Most of these could easily be transformed to work for someone like Kelimbor, also known as the Lord of the Dead, a deity in the Forgotten Realms, providing coins and overseeing burial rites for those slain during a tragedy, could be easily just be replaced with putting the dead to rest and performing last rites. Ensuring that the deeds and knowledge of someone who has died are preserved. I think this works for either of them. And while maybe slaying a returned and its associated Eidolon is a bit too campaign specific. But we could just make it into killing undead. Easy peasy. Now you can pray to Kelimvor, Gator. But Kobold, I'm not edgy. Gator, you could just make up another one with the DM, you noob. But you are my DM. Oh, well, anyways, here you can see the rewards for piety for a Threos. Most of them kind of follow this structure. You get some spells, they do something special, and then at the end, your stats increase. They're totally not massive buffs or anything, but I love the idea of getting rewarded for playing your character a certain way. And while piety isn't necessarily about your character's goals and beliefs, you could totally use what is provided and make it into that, if that fits better in your game. It's just a really cool way to enhance roleplay through some additional rules without constraining what you can and can't do. Well, except for making your deity angry. Don't 
do that. Piety is very easy to homebrew with your DM to fit your character. It's a roleplay mechanic, and sadly, no one talks about it. I really want to hear more people talk about this and play with this, because it's literally one of the best things that came out of that book. But Cobalt, you need dice to roleplay in the roleplaying game! Oh yeah, this video is sponsored by OnlyCrits, where you can buy dice and become the Pokemon Master. You see, you gotta collect all the dice. The more dice you have, the more you're optimizing. Trust me, I'm an expert. Hoarding dice is definitely good for you. If you collect enough, you can roleplay a dragon. Look at these dice, they look like candy. Oh, yummy! Gator, no! I was joking! Don't eat them! Okay, it's time to get serious. Look here. If you buy these cute duckies, you could get a free adventure of your lifetime. For example, you can make droughts with the Drought Maker. It's an 8th to 12th level adventure for 5e, and who knows? Maybe after the adventure itself, it just organically becomes a level 20 campaign. But Koopal, the duckies don't like droughts! Fine then, we'll side with the duckies. Here's a roleplay tip by the way. It works every time. I have 11 years of experience and this has never failed me. And not a lot of people talk about this and I don't understand why. So how do you make the bad guys stop being bad guys forever? Well, you murder them. <laughs> And well, how do you do that? Well, you need dice! Enhance your role-playing and role-playing with only crits. They will help you crit a lot in role-playing and role-playing. Check out only crits, and if you do, please press the link in the description. That helps me too. Onlycrits.com slash packtactics. And if you like what you see, you can get some dice yourself. Use the coupon code packtactics for 12% discount. Only crits hopes to earn your purchase, and I hope to earn your subscription. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye! Hey!